Hi everyone, my name is Anna Dyshinskaya. I work at UPenn with Sharon Thompson Shell. And I'm not gonna be as ambitious as Gabriel tried to have us be and cover everything I've been working on in the last year uh, in three minutes. Rather, I'm gonna tell you specifically how I've been using some of the skills that I learned at last year's CBMM. So I've been trying to do some modeling. Um, and what I've been modeling is this really interesting learning phenomenon called statistical learning. Imagine that you are faced with a stream of, a very long stream of sequences of, of events uh, that happen continuously in time. You're asked to do something fairly orthogonal, like detect one back repetitions. You're not actually aware of any structure in it, but there is structure. So for example, these uh, leaves are always followed by the object tilting. What will happen is despite your unawareness uh, and lack of attempts to learn this regularity, you will exhibit significant learning later on in a forced choice test. What I was interested in is in the possibility that this could be modeled as a form of graph inference. So are, are learners actually figuring out a causal graph among these uh, many events that appear in the stream? Now this sort of approach hasn't been taken before uh, to this kind of learning problem. And one reason I believe is that uh, usually graphs take as input the pairwise statistics among events. That is, they already take sort of the thing that I'm trying to figure out how people learn, which is how they learn these pairwise uh, uh, statistical relationships. And this is actually particularly tricky in the case when there are very many events um, that exceed your working memory capacity, that have you integrate over a very long uh, period of time. Uh, it seems a little bit intractable to understand how people actually represent um, all of these many, many pairs. So what I thought is maybe uh, what they're doing is actually inferring a graph at um, each segment uh, of the sequence in time. So this model uh, samples from a prior of all possible graphs. It operates over a small segment of the sequence at a time and figures out the likelihood of generating that exact sequence um, at, each, at each segment and then generates a posterior distribution over possible graph structures. This allows it to avoid having to compute all the pairwise statistics among all of the events. Um, so, so far this, uh, this works in the sense that the model uh, learns uh, the relevant statistics, so that's really cool. It does better with stronger than weaker statistics and it's sensitive to the amount of evidence and I think it gives us a somewhat more cognitively plausible way that learners might approach uh, this learning problem and my next steps are to figure out if this matches human performance in the sort of implicit learning task. I think that's pretty exciting uh, because the inference, uh, so this sort of inference over graph structures hasn't been really looked at as a model of implicit learning, so I'm excited to find out if that works. Thank you very much.